<laughs> yeah, make a snarl, make a snarl. Hello, I'm in uh, Minnesota, northwest, northeast Minnesota somewhere over by Duluth. Today we're gonna look at this uh, 2009 XR1200. I drove this thing a little bit ago. I, I got to tell you, I've just been, it's an amazing thing to drive. It's just absolutely amazing. It's 1200 cc's, 2009, um, five speed box. The guy that owns it, he's standing over there. He doesn't want to be in the video. Uh, like I said, he bought it new and uh, he's had it all these years and he's done a little bit of work to it to keep it going and and he's just had a blast with it. Like I said, I drove it earlier and I, I'm still I'd, I would trade him even over right now for any motorcycle I have, and I've got a couple. But anyway, so a little bit about the bike. It's a Euro spec bike. It got to America somehow. Um, he, uh, you know, has driven it all these years. He's got about 55,000 miles on it. Um, some things have happened to it. Uh, okay, you notice right away the mufflers. These are from Farm Fleet, $22 each. He uh, came out one day and his mufflers were all undone. Somebody was trying to steal the original ones. And uh, he thought that somebody in his neighborhood knew he had the bike and was going to take them. So he took the old ones off, put these on. Well, I like the way it sounded with these better. And the bike actually had more power, so he kept them. Uh, jumping up, let's jump right over to this. Years go by, this cap started coming off and pop off and fall down the road. So he just made that little rig there to hold it. And it leaks a little oil, but he's okay with that. And uh, moving on little cover here with a license plate there was a cover the piece that went on that came off one day went under his back tire trashed it a new one was 130 bucks so he just used a license plate um, I think it's a very good looking motorcycle it handles well like I said I drove it earlier it uh, got loads of power I think it's supposed to have 92 horsepower and I believe it does um, I don't know what the torque number is, but it's got torque from Hades to heaven. I mean, from the bottom of the, from the bottom all the way up. Okay, on this side we've got this. This is actually from a saddlebag from a horse, for an actual horse. And he uh, made a little bracket for it, cut it in half, put the one on. He didn't want two, he just wanted the one. And he's got the jackets and stuff like that in there. Uh, this leather strap here that holds the uh, holds this cover on, he said it kept popping off. My Honda, my Honda over there does the same thing. So, you know, that's what he's done to remedy that problem, alleviate it. It's, I think it's a, just like I said, a very good looking motorcycle. He put a fatter tire on the front. He lives in Duluth, Minnesota. The roads are rough. He feels better with it. Um, notice the headlight is not factory. He never liked the small factory headlight that was on it. I had it in a shop some one day and uh, something fell over, fell on the headlight, busted it. So he had found, he replaced it with this. He had found this in the desert years and years earlier. Adapted it to fit for the bike. I think it looks well. Uh, when the headlight is on, let's see if we can. Yeah, when it's on, I think it really looks good. <laughs> this is a little bit of rust here. Like I said, he lives in Duluth. They have a lot of salt and he drives a bike a lot. So uh, dual disc, dual front brakes, inverted forks. Um, just, I, like I said, I drove this thing earlier and I'm still giddy about it. It's just an absolute blast. We've been up here driving around uh, the mountains and uh, North Shore Trail and the last three days I'm going home with my La Sombra right over there. And uh, anyway, we've just had a ball with this thing. So I want to talk about the difference between this motorcycle. This is a 1200cc, that's an 1100cc Honda. <laughs> this is, uh, I am. This is a uh, very calm, sedate, this is an English teacher of motorcycles. Very, very, it does everything right. Everything works, everything is, uh, when you drive it, it just kind of does what you need to do. And it, it's, I can drive it five, 600 miles with no trouble. This motorcycle, from the second I got on it, the first thing it said to me was faster, faster, faster. Every time I, every corner I turned, every, it just eggs you on. It just, it tells you you're not going fast enough. You turn the gas and it just jumps straight up in the air. It just, uh, absolute blast to drive. Can't say that enough. And the, like the brakes, fabulous brakes. 
He's got a little uh, fork leak. He says that's happened a few times over the years, and we just found that three days ago. It just started doing it, but so we'll get that fixed. But uh, it's fuel injected. He said the fuel injection works incredibly well. He's never had a problem with it. He used to have a Moto Guzzi with a fuel injection that always had problems. But on this bike, it's just been no trouble at all. But, uh, you know, he's got his rain gear up here. He's had a flat, a few flats before, so he's got a flat kit. Um, on the dash, okay, here, the seat is a hard seat. When you get on this bike, you feel like it's very uncomfortable. When you start riding it, however, it actually becomes very comfortable. Um, I would never want to sit on the back seat of this motorcycle. If you notice, he's taking his peg, pegs off. There's no back pegs on it. Uh, the motorcycle, here's the dash. It's got a great big tack, little tiny speedometer. He put this on there so he doesn't lose his gas cap. Uh, it's, it's just a blast to drive. Big old oil cooler on the side here. Orange plug, wires, you know, like the body work. Isn't that just a beautiful motorcycle? XR1200. XR stands for extra rowdy. <laughs> and if you ever uh, drive one of these, you'll understand that clearly. Forster Extra Rowdy 1200. If you get a chance to buy one of these or ride one of these, do it. I guarantee you're going to love it. It's a wet dream on rubber. Y'all have a good day. Enjoy. September 29th, started Neely this morning. Highway 1, about 65 miles. Then I hopped on a Highway 61, Lake Superior. Buzzed down the old highway on that on the Honda Shadow, La Sombra back there. And then uh, it was an uh, argument with myself between Interstate 35 and taking this beautiful Highway 23 right here. And uh, of course, Highway 23 won. So by the time this is all done, I'll have 200 miles of fabulous road under my belt. This uh, Hot Rod XR right here, which I drove a couple weeks ago, is a friend, my good friend Bobby sitting over there. And there's La Sombra behind it. But it's been an absolutely beautiful, beautiful time up here in uh, Northeast Minnesota. We're just south of Duluth right now. Hey, y'all have a great day. Enjoy.